Hello, this is Edward Ojambo. Ojambo.com has compared the differences between Java and PHP. The link is ojambo.com forward slash learn hyphen Java hyphen and hyphen PHP hyphen part hyphen two. In the second part, I'll show you the primitive data types. Six lessons will be about variables, integers, decimals, characters, and Boolean expressions. Assigning values to variables will be the final lesson in the second part. The link, the sponsor for the video is ajumboshop.com. Templates for popular content management systems, CMS themes for WordPress, Drupal, and Joomla at ajumboshop. Custom templates or modifications are available at ajumboshop.com. In order to follow along to this tutorial, the following tools are required. Text editor, terminal to view final output, Java and PHP. So in order to select a text editor, I use Gini, but any text editor will work. Ojumbo.com reviewed lightweight programming text editors. The link is ojumbo.com forward slash review hyphen lightweight hyphen programming hyphen editors. Let's begin. Open up Guinea. I'm going to create a new file, Java file, and save it as primitive data types dot Java. Make sure the first letter is a capital. Okay, so the first lesson is about variables. Variable, you just requires the declaration to be lowercase for the data type. Java also requires the variable's first letter to be lowercase. For PHP, only requires the variable to have a dollar sign at the beginning. And the type of variable will be declared when it's actually assigned. Now let's go to the second lesson, which is integers. The first, let's write a comment here, declare variables. The first integer is called a byte. It's an 8-bit type of integer. Next, we have short, which are 16-bit integers. Then we have int, which are 32-bit integers. And finally, we have long, which are 64-bit integers. In PHP, all variables are declared when they are signed. So I'm just going to copy this just to save some time. And call this one my short. Next one will be my int. And last one will be my long. Both Java and PHP use the same type of integers. Now, Let's talk about decimals. Java has two types of decimals. Float is the first one. And float is floating point and 32-bit. Double is also a floating point, 
and it's 64-bit. No, uh, PHP, once again, variables are declared when they're assigned. So we'll just copy and just paste. And just rename it to my float and my double. PHP variable is based on the assigned value. Now, next lesson is about characters. Java uses a specific char declaration. It's 64 bit and sorry, it's 16 bit and single quotes. PHP uses the string variable and of course it will be declared when it's assigned okay next lesson is about boolean expressions Java the boolean type is case sensitive and it's 8-bit and can only be true or false, lowercase. Both Java and PHP use the same assigned values for Boolean expressions. Because again, it will be declared when it's assigned, but it's case insensitive. That means we can use a mix match of true or false using any of this can be all caps, all lower caps, or oops, I spelled true wrong. Okay, so <clears throat> now the final lesson is going to be about assigning values to variables. So one way is we can declare the variables first and then assign the values. But in this, I'm just going to assign the values immediately. But I'll show you how to, for example, byte. If we want to assign a value to byte, what we can do is, after declaring it, we can then assign the value equals 1. But we don't have to do this we can, after declaring it, we can immediately assign its value. So I'll do the same thing for short, which is 16-bit. And I'll do one for int, which is 32-bit. Do one for long, which is 64-bit. And for the decimals, we can assign them the same way as well. And assign one for the double as well. And also for the boolean, we can also assign one as well. Sorry, the character, which would be a single quote letter. And the Boolean, we can sign it, true or false. In PHP, it's the exact same thing. But uh, <clears throat> I'll just copy and paste in 
the string print line, which was the first lesson, just to show you what the output will look like, just to save some time. Go over to PHP, and now it's the same thing again. We can declare the variable and then assign a value to it. Just show you here as a quick example. I can type my byte equals 1. Or I can just declare and assign it immediately. It's the exact same thing. Okay, so I'll put 1 for byte, put uh, 11 for my short, and 1111 for my int. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for my long, and my float 11.11, .11, and my double be 123456, point 123456. My char letter A. I'm using single quotes, but in PHP I'm allowed to use double quotes as well. And boolean I can put true as well. I'm just going to paste in the print statements for the assigned variables, just to save some time. Just copy, paste, PHP uses echo to display one or more strings. Okay, now we're going to compile. First let me rename this, the class is called print primitive data types. You can already see the error there, but uh, I will uh, compile it. And you see the float. In Java, we have to use F. In Java, the decimals are automatically double. So if we just want a float, we have to sign it with an F at the end. Now we compile it. There's no errors. And we can then go and execute our code. Okay, there we go. Now we can also compile and execute from the command line. The command is javac primitive data types dot java. That will create the primitive data types class. Then to execute, we just type java primitive data type. We don't need to declare the class part. because it's already in a class file. Okay. Now let's go and compile and execute the PHP part. Let me just get rid of the terminal. Okay, for the PHP, Again, we go and compile it. There's no errors. Then we can go and execute it. Okay, and it printed everything out. Sorry, I didn't, uh, should I put a line, next line on the echo statements. Okay, now, to compile it from the command line, the command is php hyphen l primitive data types dot php. There's no error. Then we can execute it using php primitive data types dot php without any options. Okay. No syntax errors. And just remove the that and print everything out. Now Java is case sensitive and variables must begin with a lowercase letter. Java requires specific declarations for variables while PHP only needs a dollar sign. Java and PHP use similar primitive data types. Please visit the tutorial sponsor ojambo.shop.com. I hope you find this information useful. The tutorial can be found at ojambo.com. Please visit and leave feedback.